We weren't the only ones who saw it. We found out later. The sheriff had on file people who were in the area that Friday, saw it. Saturday and Sunday, the U.S. military shot down objects over Alaska, Canada's Yukon Territory, and Lake Huron. Uh, what do you remember? The movement that they described was what the crew described when it left. Yeah, the Pentagon has confirmed that three objects have been shot down. In All right, so I'm getting some level of, uh, let's say, talking about the unidentified objects floating around, or we're talking about uh, the China balloons, or a combination of both, you know? So I'm getting those news articles. Really interested to see exactly how my boy Up Church is going to tie this into the title Silver Circles, which I kind of think is self-explanatory. But also, you got these guys, they seem like they're cutting wood and they eating lunch and working out like some real OGs out there in the you know country. So we're going to see exactly how this goes. Uh, let's get it. The crew described when it left. Yeah, the Pentagon has confirmed that three objects have been shot down in America. Got the Doritos. They described. They described uh, this globe rising up. I bring the power of lightning, trouble of rain, smiling at death in my casket champagne. I see the future, so they blame cocaine. My mind on <laughs> levels of solo domain. I Yo, that boy said, I see the future and they blame cocaine, yo. Like, you know, it's like, okay, my level of thinking is on such a level that I can see the future and they don't understand it. So it must be cocaine. It must be drugs. Could be. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Maybe. And what if you can see the future and you on cocaine at the same time? I'm just saying. Give you that extra edge. I'm not advocating for y'all to do drugs. I'm just saying. Blame cocaine. My mind on levels of solo domain. Ooh. I'm woven in music. My words being crocheted. I will die hard as if I'm John McClain. Bend every sword at my neck with bare hands. Leave with my limbs and a smile like it's planned. I'm only half human staring at the moon and wish I could touch I like this. You know, Up Church is one of those artists uh, that I usually come to him because I know like he's a rapper, right? But he's not just a rapper. And many of y'all are experienced with my boy Up Church on different levels. And I'll pick a song that I'm going to listen to that's on my list or something that I saw that he came out with. And I don't know what to expect. I don't know I'm going to get this vibe. And I'm getting that here. But one thing that I really noticed early on in the, uh, in, in the shot was he's sitting there and it's as if he's writing the song and practicing the song while his buddies, you know, look like they've been working or whatever the case may be, but they're back there chilling out, like not a care in the world. They're just doing their thing. But he is off to the side. Now pay attention. He's off to the side in his own world. He's thinking about things that the average person may not be thinking about. Now, I picked that up because I feel like I relate to that in, in so many different levels. While people are chilling, having a good time, or just relaxing or working, my mind is somewhere else. All right, now, let's get back to the song. Smile like it's planned. I'm only half human staring at the moon and wish I could touch the glow so soothe and look to the sky for the feeling of the next place. Shiny disc says hello. Yeah, yeah, that's smooth there. Yeah. That's real smooth there. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, I don't even know. That's the hook. I mean, it ain't even a hook. It's it seems like a bridge onto the next verse. I, I don't know, but like, I'm feeling that vibe. You know, Up Church can sing. If you don't know, now you know. But like, the boy can sing, and he's doing a great job, and I'm vibing with it. I see silver circle. <laughs> yeah. That beat riding with him, too. You know Swim I mean? in serotonin to numb all the pain. The best place to be is inside of my brain. If y'all could come see it, then you'd be amazed. But also in fear, cause it can't be explained. Yo, this man said the best place to be is in his brain. Yo, 
the best place to be is in your brain. Now, in his brain, right? And get notice, I, I'm, I'm watching the visual because, like, he get out the truck and he, like, he looking, he, like, he spaced out. Like, he's trying to figure out what's going on. The rest of his buddies still in the truck. Now, I don't know if they see what he's seeing or they wondering exactly what the hell is up church up to, right? But whatever it is, either they see it, but they don't want to get out to investigate, right? They they rather just be in a safe space, safe space and observe from where they at. Up church is more like, nah, let me get in the thick of it. I want to get out. I want to find. I want to investigate. I want to know what's going on. I, I think that's exactly what I'm getting from this scene. Could be wrong. Or they might just be like, up oh, church, you go do it. <laughs> You'd be amazed, but also in fear because it can't be explained. Yeah. I paint vivid pictures not stuck in one frame. I need yeah. no color to start throwing shade. I travel quickly, no time to make space. Light speed with him so I can't be erased. I'm only half human staring at... What's tomorrow what he said about this? Pencil. I travel quickly, no time to make space. Light speed with pencil, I can't be erased. Light speed with pencil, I can't be erased. Now, look, you got the, the, the triangle being shown around him. Triangle light, right? And the homeboy's like, yo, come on, come on, come on, like, come back, right? But up touch is like, nah, man, like, I'm comfortable. I think I'm comfortable in this space. I'm comfortable looking up. I'm comfortable wondering. I'm like, I'm in my element. I'm in my zone. What you might be afraid of, which I might run from, I'm I'm in tune with it. And maybe some people ain't comfortable unless they actually outside of the norm, in my opinion. I'm only half human staring at the moon and wish I could touch the so soothing. Bro, tell me they ain't leaving my boy. Tell me they ain't leaving my boy. Yo, yo. I've seen silver circle. Four takedowns in eight days. It's the latest in a series of responses to those unidentified high altitude objects floating over North America. Yo, before I read this, get into it. I just like I didn't expect Up Church to make a song about this. Like I, I, I get that sometimes you want to make a song about relevant like current events, but I didn't have any idea that he would make a song related to what was going on with them shooting down these different um unidentified objects in the sky. But like in a way, because he told to do this, he kind of proves the point of the song that his mind is somewhere else. You know what I mean? If it makes sense. High altitude objects floating over North America. All I ask is for an objective consideration of all the evidence. Anyone who won't do that isn't really entitled to an opinion by Travis Walton. Woo! Yo, speak to him. Talk to him. Got that third eye. Yo, I think this was a pretty dope song. I hope y'all like it. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. I really do. Like, now I got to give a ranking. I done ran my mouth so much, so I'm going to give y'all a ranking. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all agree with me, write it in the comment section. If y'all disagree with me, write it in the comment section. Be respectful. Now, when it came to Up Church, Up Church, right? Woo! All right, y'all. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. When it came to the bars, the lyrics of the song, I enjoyed it. I think he did an excellent job executing exactly what his vision was. He laid out exactly what the subject matter was. I, I caught on and it's still a little bit of mystery left there, but for the most part, he executed the song perfectly. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. I think it was a perfect song when it came to the lyrics. When it came to the visuals, I felt that there was a lot to interpret there and it got me interested because it was a lot to read in between the lines. And if you was willing, if you was paying attention to it, you would gain more out of the visuals than just somebody just not paying attention. For that, I give him a kudos for that, and I'm giving him 11 out of 10. I think it broke the scale for me. When it came to that beat, I thought it was nice. It was 
simple yet elegant, something you could bob your head to, but it didn't try to overwhelm the song. It allowed what he was singing about to show, and it did its job. I'm giving that also 11 out of 10. Overall ranking for the song, I'm going to give it a 10.9 out of 10. It broke the scale, almost 11. So y'all let me know. I was tempted to rank it higher, so feel free to tell me you tripping. Broke the scale even higher. Peace and glory, everybody. Be peaceful and be great. Until next time, y'all. I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. If you would like to get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a member or a patron at patreon.com slash the Hobby Lobby. You can also continue the conversation by joining the Hobby Lobby Discord. You can find all the links in the description below.